Over the last probably three or so years on my channel, I have tried on like a decent amount of pairs of jeans. I've gone inside fitting rooms. I've ordered jeans to try on at home. I feel like a big part of my channel is kind of being your guinea pig and figuring out what jeans fit my body type best and which ones I recommend. And I've definitely had a lot of trial and error when it comes to jeans, I'm sure as all of us have. And it's funny because I don't even really wear jeans that often like at all. Yet somehow over my time making these videos, I have accumulated quite a few pairs of jeans. So I thought it would be a fun, interesting video to try on all of the jeans that I've managed to keep over the years. I'll go through each pair, kind of tell you why I like them, where I got them, which ones that I've tried on in videos have stuck around in my closet type of thing. So I think I have like 10 or so pairs of jeans to try on. I have quite a few. I can confidently say that there are pairs of jeans that I'm going to show in this video that I probably haven't tried on in like a year so we'll see how it goes let's jump in okay starting in no particular order I have this pair it's from Target from the Wild Fable brand I want to say these were $22 if that and surprisingly these have become like my go-to favorite pair of jeans I guess I shouldn't say surprisingly because I love Wild Fable I think they're so great they go up to a size 24 in the majority of their jeans they offer plus sizes in the majority of their items they're really affordable they're usually very trendy I know a lot of times it's kind of more geared towards like juniors and teens, but I shop there all the time. And this pair of jeans just really does it for me. It's like slightly cropped, so it goes kind of just above the ankle, which I think looks really cute with sneakers. It would also look really cute with like some taller boots underneath. And I like that it's kind of more of a straight leg. That's sort of what I'm into these days. The butt is very cute. I mean, come on. The other thing that I feel like you'll probably pick up on when I talk about a lot of these pairs of jeans is that if a jean is super duper high-waisted, like it will steal my heart forever. I will wear it till the end of time. This sweater I particularly wore today because it is so incredibly cropped. Like it is probably the most cropped thing I own besides like a bra. And if I can wear any pair of jeans with this top, then it's a good one in my book. So I love these, very affordable. The only thing I would kind of change is the rips. I'm not like a hundred percent in love with them. They are just a little bit like overly ripped in my opinion. I kind of wish it was just the knees, but I honestly love these. They're such a go-to for me. Like if I ever don't know what to wear, I will put on these jeans with some kind of top and head out the door. For reference, I am a size 16 and I got these in a size 16. So I will try to remember to list every single size of all of these pairs that I try on, but these are just a banger right out of the gate. This next pair of jeans was quite the adventure. I remember specifically doing a dedicated video on this brand because I was so confused when I first tried to order these jeans. The brand is called Warp and Weft, by the way. If you're curious about that video, I'll link it down below. But they had a straight size and a plus size offering and I was trying to figure out my size in either. Check that out if you're interested. But I did keep this pair. They're called the Peg Leg Jean, I believe. And they have this really cool seam down the front of them. They're kind of almost like a cargo utility style jean, which I love. They're like totally different than anything in my closet. I want to say I've had these for like going on a year now and I've only worn them one time. I'm just being truthful. I love these. I'm gonna hang on to these. I just don't really wear them that much. These are a size 14 in the straight size for reference. So if you are interested in checking these out, they are a sustainable brand, which I love. And all of their jeans are under $100, which I double love. So if you are gonna get this particular type of jean, I would recommend sizing down just as a tip, but I love them. Next up, we have this pair from Abercrombie. Abercrombie has like sneakily worked its way up to be one of my favorite brands recently. I've ordered a ton of stuff on Online. And next month, when I do my sort of like inside the fitting room experiment, I will be going to Abercrombie because they have just completely done a 180 brand wise. And I'm pretty sure I saw these jeans advertised everywhere on Instagram. These are just the like classic straight leg jeans. They're the super high rise. They're in a size 16 or a 33 in Abercrombie sizing. And they're so cute. This is like a good classic everyday pair of jeans that's high-waisted. It could be like a smidgen more high-waisted, but honestly, like I can wear it with this top. It passes the test. It just fits you in all the right areas. There's no rips or holes in it. It's long enough to where you can wear it with like any shoe. It's not cropped at all. Abercrombie jeans are expensive. Don't get me wrong. I think on average, they're like $99, but you can find coupon codes and they oftentimes have like a lot of sales. So that's when I bought these. And I feel like this pair of jeans goes with everything. 
Like you could dress it up with some heels at nighttime. You could wear it with sneakers or sandals or whatever during the daytime. We just love, we love her. Next up, we have this pair from Madewell, which is like another common one that you're gonna see in my jeans. I have like at least two or three pairs from Madewell. I wanna say I got these from the Nordstrom, like what do they have? Like this annual sale, semi-annual sale, something like that, like their big sale that they have. So I got these super discounted and they're a mom jean. And I don't even think Madewell makes this style of mom jean anymore. I've had these for going on three years now and they're going strong. And the thing that I love about these is they're like a stretchy pair of mom jeans. So for me, in the last three years, my body has fluctuated. I've been like a size 14, I've been a 16. I think that these have standed the test of time because they are stretchy and they've just adapted with my body. So sometimes they fit a little more loose. Sometimes they fit a little more form fitting like right now. And I just feel like they look good no matter what. Very, very high waisted. I'm pretty sure when I did a video, maybe like summer of 2021, maybe even earlier, I don't remember, where I tested out all of the rise on all of my high rise jeans with like a literal tape measure. <laughs> if you're interested in that video, I'll link it down below. All the videos that I talk about in this one, they'll be down in the description box, but I'm pretty sure this might have been my highest rise pair of jeans that I owned and they're up there. I love them. I got these in a size 32, which I believe translates to a 14 in Madewell sizes, but they are stretchy. So they have kind of, like I said, been broken in, adapted. If I were to reorder a new pair of jeans from Madewell, I would definitely be a 33, especially if it was a rigid pair of jeans, but I love Love this fit. I just love these jeans. Can you tell? Next up for a pair of black jeans, which I think I have like three or so pairs of. I just love black denim. I think it's so sexy. This is another pair from Wild Fable and I actually loved it so much that I bought it in the denim version as well. And both of those are secondhand. So I got both of these on Poshmark. This black pair I got, I know I lived in LA when I bought them. So 2020, so I've had them for two years now. They're so good. I've done everything in these. I've worn these to Disneyland, which like you know is a good test because you're taking like 15,000 steps a day there. I love the cropped sort of frayed hem at the bottom. They are a bit wider. They're called the Wild Fable Skater Jeans. They aren't made anymore, which makes me so sad because I feel like this is low key one of the best pairs that they've ever designed. Because of how loose it is at the bottom, like you're just able to move around so easily. I can tie my shoes, I can bend over. <laughs> As we know with, you know, mom jeans and just jeans in general, it can be very difficult to do that. I can lift my legs all the way up. I mean, it's a miracle. I got these in a size 16, same with the other pair. They are the slightest bit stretchy. If you're on the market for a pair of jeans like this, I would definitely recommend searching Depop or Poshmark. I really hope that they will re-release a pair of jeans like this sometime soon because they're just so good and they look like a kind of vintage, classic, rigid pair of jeans, but they're actually like a stretchy denim, so I love that. Next up, we have another pair from Madewell, and it's funny because after trying on all of my jeans at one time, which is genuinely something I don't think I've ever done, I'm looking at this pair and I'm like, I don't think I like these. I think I have other pairs that look so much better on my body, but I don't know. And this is another older pair from Madewell that I got, I wanna say like last year because I originally had them in a size down. I outgrew those, so I sized up, but I don't think they make this pair anymore. I think in the last like year or so, Madewell has made a lot of changes to their denim. And I think for the better, they've extended their sizing and offerings and I like it a lot better now. Let me know if you'd wanna see me do like another sort of Madewell in the fitting room thing. Cause I haven't done that since February, 2020, I don't wanna talk about it. But this is just the classic mom jean, similar to the pair that I wore before, the stretchier pair, but this is a rigid pair. So I'm stuck right here, <laughs> can't go any further. I daren't tie a shoe or bend over in these because I probably would cut myself in half. But yeah, strangely after trying this pair on, it just feels weird. Like it feels a little bit oversized in the crotch here, but I do love the high rise of it. These are in a size 33 or a 16 in Madewell. That's typically the size that I wear in their rigid denim, but I feel like I'm just this year gonna break up with rigid denim. I think that they make really cute, stretchy pairs of jeans that look like they could be rigid. So maybe that's like the direction we'll move into for this year, but I do still like these. They don't make them anymore, like I said, so I might just keep them, maybe cut them into shorts, I'm not sure. Possibly resell them on Poshmark for somebody else, maybe someone who's like more of a size 14, 16, and then might fit into these a little bit better. They might be a bit of a baggier pair, who knows, but I still like them. Next for another pair from Madewell. I'm not going in any particular order, by the way, if you couldn't tell, there's just a pile in front of me and I'm grabbing them. This pair, dare I say, is one of my favorites, again, 
again, I've said that a lot, but I feel like this is one of my favorite pairs of jeans I've ever owned. And these are called the Cali Demi Boot Jeans. These were actually a recommendation or a suggestion from my friend Rosie Blair on Instagram. You've probably heard me talking about her a lot. I love her content so much. She shares such amazing style inspiration for plus size folks, as well as a lot of affordable stuff too. And this pair was a suggestion of hers on Instagram. I bought them. I love them. And the sort of boot cut semi flare at the bottom just does it for me. It's just so cute. I ordered these jeans in a size 32 or a size 14 because I got them like a year ago. If I were to reorder them, I'd probably order them in a 33, maybe. Although Madewell jeans do run kind of big. So definitely check like the size chart if you're going to order your own pair. But I really, really love the way these look on my body. I feel very comfortable and very confident in them. The rise is high enough for me. And these jeans really do make an outfit. Like if you just wear a cute, simple top, like the focus almost immediately goes to the jeans and they're just so cute. I love them. Next up, we have a pair of jeans that admittedly I do not wear enough. In fact, I don't know if I've ever even worn these outside of my house. That's a tragedy. And this pair is by Good American. I know we have feelings about the Kardashians. I totally get it, but Good American does make really, really good jeans. Definitely the most expensive jeans in my closet. I think these were over a hundred, maybe $150 kind of insane and I never even wear them. So we definitely need to fix that this year. I love the flare though. I love the flare and the little accompanying rips on the knees. I just think they go so well together. It makes it like really casual, but you can make it very chic as well. And they're just so high rise, I could die. So expect to see these out and about in 2022. I just love the fit of them. I feel like they just hug my body in all the right places. I think I kind of just forget about them. So these are definitely top of my list to wear next. I'm keeping these forever. They're so good. This pair of jeans is another Wild Fable pair. This is the final Wild Fable. So I think that brings the total to like four, which is definitely the most. I love this black wash in that it's not like super jet black. It's kind of almost grayish, but I like that sometimes. Sometimes if I'm wearing like a solid, really dark black shirt, I think it looks good with this. And sometimes if I wanna wear a more like acid washed or like faded vintage shirt, I can wear my like totally dark black pairs of jeans, if that makes sense. They're very high waisted. They're cropped enough to where they look really cute if you're wearing like Vans or Converse or something. I love wearing these with just like a t-shirt tucked in. I think it's a very cute look, very simple. And a great way to end this off because I've had the majority of these jeans for over a year, if not two or three years in some other cases. I do have a couple newer pairs of jeans that I got either secondhand or for other try on videos that I will talk about in the future. But yeah, these are all of my jeans that I have accumulated over the years that still fit me, that I still rock. Maybe not enough, but the ones that I have kept that have withstood the test of time, like I said, through moving from Phoenix to LA back to Phoenix and all the different sizes and fluctuations in my body. These jeans have stuck with me through it all. And these are all my ride or dies. I will probably keep them maybe forever, except that one made well pair those can go. I will link all of the pairs that I can find that are still available in the description box below for you so you can check them out. I can't guarantee that they'll all be there, but I will try to find what I can. And I really do love and recommend all of these jeans. They're all fantastic. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you wanna see more videos like this, kind of diving into my closet, seeing what I already have, seeing what's lasted. If you have any questions about anything in particular, definitely let me know. I would love to expand on this idea. Thank you so much for being here, for stopping by on your journey on the internet today. It means the world to me and I will see you very soon.